Cisco Firepower and HashiCorp's Terraform series. Infrastructure as Code, focusing on day zero and day one deployments. We're gonna pick up in part three and we're gonna add to that initial policy that we created by adding a few rules as an example. So here we are in um, DevNet slash Terraform Providers FMC. Great examples and code here. Um, check it out. Um, use it as you know the example and modify as needed. That's exactly what I did. And we go ahead and we can see there's a couple files here. The main ones that we're going to look at are main Terraform TFRs and var.tf. Here's var.tf, which is our variables that we're going to use in order to call um, uh, FMC. And then it calls, or the variables are held in TFVARs um, with the outputs. And you can see the username, password, and host. We call our provider and uh, we also connect to FMC and that's where we're doing that here. And we're gonna use um, the data function to validate that a couple of objects exist. So we're looking at outside zone, um, inside zone and DMZ. So we're just gonna check to see that that data uh, element exists so we can use it in policy. And you can see there's DMZ zone, in zone, and out zone. We'll go back. And now we've got a couple of objects here. We've got an NE-IPv4. We've got um, that DMZ net. So let's check those. And we've got, there's that DMZ net. And there is in net, if we're going to use that as well. And the NE-IPv4 object as well. So we're good there. We have those created. Now we could, sorry, they're already created on FMC, but we could have done this uh, ourselves. The port here is HTTP, but we're going to leverage what we already have in this case. We're going to have um, uh, this uh, FMC IPS policy, Terraform IPS is the name. So let's validate that that's there as well. And as we continue this series, we're going to look at additional um, uh, rules that we're going to add. This is just an example. So you can see Terraform IPS is, um, exists. We'll continue down. I'm not going to use syslog in my case. I'm going to create a URL object. So I talked about that I'm checking to see if they exist using data, but resource, I'm going to create it. So let's go ahead and triple check that that object exists. And just note that um, that um, the access policy portion we did in the previous video. So I'm not gonna talk about that, but we want the default action is blocked because we're starting from scratch this time as well. We're gonna you know, um, log it um, at, at beginning and we're gonna send to um, logs to FMC. The URL object, I, I didn't pivot back into it, but the URL object is going to be created on the fly. We'll check that in the after we've done um, the deployment. Here's our access rule. So we'll give it a name. It's in mandatory. We're going to set up the logging, etc. And then we've got our zones, source zones, destination zone, source network, destination network. We've got destination ports. All of these are going to leverage those data um, elements that we captured above. We've got our URL, so that URL object, and we're going to use um, the IPS policy as well. So it's calling data. And so that's going to build that first policy or rule, sorry. And then we're going to create a second one. And what this is going to do is, and we'll get into this when we do the full lab, but what this is going to do is we're going to dump a, a web server. We're going to use uh, Terraform to deploy the web server, configure the web server, get it all up and running, apply the ports to... to uh, of VMware and then what we're going to do is build out the policies that are required um, all of the things to make it actually function and work and then ultimately test it so there's our second rule there's some output there and we'll go ahead and you know you'll do your initialization you can go ahead and run the uh, plan if you wanted to there's our providers so just showing you that there and here we'll go ahead and hit apply. Again, you can use plan first, but apply will run plan. It'll give you an opportunity, unless you use the you know, auto approve, 
to, to either uh, move forward with the deployment or not. So look at it, all of these are going to be added. There's nothing going to be removed here. And we'll go ahead and hit yes. And we'll give it a bit. We can start seeing URL objects created. Go to access control. We sh should start seeing things show up here. And there we go. We've got our user that created Terraform access policy, set those default actions just like we saw in the previous video. Oh, look at that. We've already got our first rule um, added here. And look, a little notice here saying user Terraform API is currently editing this policy. So it gives us good insight that someone else is actually making some changes to this while we're in here. There's our, this is exactly outside DMZ, IPv4, DMZ, HTTP. And look at, here's our uh, URL object here. And allow, not only that, we also included an intrusion policy and we set up our logging. So let's go ahead and edit this policy just to have a deeper look here. And there you go, you can see our out, uh, DM and to or DMZ zones. We've got our objects here. Everything looks perfect. Uh, we already saw that anyway. Um, there's our destination. Here's our URL object. And let's check out inspection. We can see Terraform uh, IPS. And you can see I'm using dark mode, right? And I think it's still in early stages, but um, it's pretty cool. There's log at end of connection and uh, firepower management uh, center. So remember with the block action or the default block action, we are logging at beginning because there is no end of connection. So in allow, there's an end of connection. Uh, block, there's no end of connection because it's blocked. So you want to log at beginning. And here's our second policy. We see it here. Um, again, there's no uh, URL object. And we'll go ahead and... Um, you know, you can check the IPS and logging. Everything looks great here. So that's good. Now let's go ahead and check out auditing. Was this stuff captured? I'll like all of it. And as we go along, we can see there's a save policy. Um, so saving along the way, here's another save policy. And we've got some posts and gets, but let's have a look here. Look, we did a, a comparison and we can see exactly what the changes are gonna be. So everything here in green is going to be added. So that's pretty cool. And again, every time it does a save, you can go ahead and have a look at that policy to look at what that change is gonna be. Access control, we'll jump back here and we'll do it like we did in the other video. We'll, we'll go ahead and destroy all this great work that we did but see the time saving. So some work to build out the configuration, but if you, you've got test environments and a lot of people just don't test enough, imagine being able to build this out in code. And remember, this is Terraform open source, so you have access to it. And building out your test environments as needed, making changes to it, um, pretty cool stuff, pretty powerful. So we're gonna do an auto approve destroy here and it's gonna go through and systematically um, break this apart and, and start deleting things. Now you gotta remember systematically, you can't delete certain things without uh, you know certain tasks already being done first, right? Uh, and an example of that is you can't remove a policy with a host that's assigned to it, right? Um, that you just can't do that. You have to remove the host first. So this is going to keep track of that. And we're going to see in later videos where we're going to use the depend on uh, capability to make sure that we are removing um, certain elements that aren't being tracked automatically to do it on its own with Terraform. And you can see, there it is, gone, disappeared, vanished with a quick, you know, command line argument and bam, all of that done. And there, again, you can see you've got that um, policy um, tracking here so we can look at the comparisons if we want to, but fully tracked, auditable. Um, and again, you can tear up and tear down. And think about other infrastructure, right? Uh, things like um, AWS um, and such, right? You wanna probably add and remove um, very, very quickly. And you can see the differences before, right? You've, you've got this object and after you can see there's nothing there, it's gone. And I'll show you a little bit more. Actually, I'll do a separate video around some of the deployment enhancements that Cisco's made to Firepower. 
But yeah, so going back to the cl the cloud, it, you know, AWS and Azure, you want to tear up and tear down as, uh, you know, maybe frequently. Infrastructure as code. So again, here's another comparison. So let's go back to access control and that's pretty much it. In 10 minutes, more explaining than anything, we're done. Thank you.